All right, so here we have our TG6. We have our macro ring light, which is called an LG-1. And we're gonna learn how to set the white balance on this thing. I already got the camera on, so let's turn it around. All right, one of the other things that we will need for this is a white card. And this is an x rite white card. It is, this one's about $100. It actually has a color checker chart in it. Uh, you don't need anything this elaborate. You could just use a few sheets of white paper, make sure that you can't see through them. Um, and you can put that into the scene. Like so, let's move it back just a little bit. And we'll take our little TG here, press the shutter button just to activate the, the back screen. And I'm gonna go ahead, you can see how it's like, it looks yellow even though the, the card is actually white. So what you need to do is you're going to press this middle button that says OK. And there's a bunch of different settings that are along the side here. You can press up and down on these little dials here. It's kind of like a D-pad on a game controller. And uh, the one you're looking for is capture white balance. And right now I'm on two. It doesn't really matter. You could do one. You could do two, whatever. Uh, all you need to do is hit the info button. Once you hit the info button, which is right here, it's going to tell you to point the camera and then press the shutter button. So you want to make sure that you're like right and nice in the center, hit the shutter button, and then just hit OK, which is the middle button right here. And now our white balance is set. And you can see it's nice and it looks white now. So that's that's the proper white balance for this. And now we can go ahead and use this. Now, one of the things I didn't mention when I was doing that, and I have to turn the camera around so you can see this, is that when I have press the shutter, I'm also getting this light coming on. Um, so if you're going to do pictures like this uh, and get a white balance using that uh, macro ring light, then you want to make sure that that is on when you're doing your white balance so that you can get a proper setting. You know, Otherwise, uh, it's only going to take the lighting that's in your room and set a white balance from it. So the way you set that on is that when you have your macro setting on, I have the microscope on right here in the dial. Uh, there's this little side button here, so you press to the right, and it's this little setting right down here in the corner, the one that's yellow. So that's it. That's how you set the white balance. So I have a few subjects here, and we'll take a look at them, and let's see how the pictures come out. Okay, so as you can see, I have an old Pac-Man and a Wookie mask. And the reason why I'm using this is because I'm particularly uh, curious about the teeth so I want to take a picture of the teeth there, and I'm going to go ahead and take one here. So it should all be under similar lighting, and we'll look at those pictures and see what they look like. All right, so here's the pictures. I went ahead and had my camera set to RAW and JPEG, so they were taking both. And, uh, you know, this is about the best you're going to get for trying to set... Um, the white properly. So if you were trying to match, let's say an enamel on a tooth, uh, you would want to set the white balance under the current lighting that you were in. Plus, obviously, if you're using the macro ring light, make sure that's on as well. And then you would take the pictures and this is going to be what's going to come out. Uh, a JPEG has the white balance baked into it. However, if you take a raw picture, like this, for instance, and you can drag this into a program like Affinity Photo, which is a relatively inexpensive photo editing program, and it has a raw interface. So this can actually, you can actually adjust the white balance after the fact. Not that we need to, because we already set it uh, properly. Uh, you can see here that it's saying that the white temperature was, you know, 4771K and uh, as far as i can tell from my eyes looking at this which is not really a scientific way to look at it it does look very accurate uh, i also have a col color calibrated screen so it does seem to look like it's it's coming out properly um, but again that is not a scientific way to go about uh, measuring those type of things but this is as, probably as good as you're going to get for matching you know color okay so yeah i'm going to shut that off but I'll show you this uh, this picture of the white card. 
and you can see how green it was. This was taken with the second profile before the white balance was changed. And if you come into here and take the white balance tool and just click on that, uh, then it changes to like this perfect white color uh, of the white card. And that is basically what we just did in the camera was we set this up before we took the picture so that it would come out properly. All right, so here's the products that we were seeing. This is the TG6, and uh, the normal price is about $500 right now. This is the LG-1 LED macro ring light. You know, this is a little bit deceptive because there's no light in here. It actually just captures the light that's in the actual camera. There's like an LED light here and it spreads it around here. So just be aware of that <laughs> if you buy it, it's not actually a light. And then here's the uh, pocket white card. I have this in my wallet at all times. Uh, that's how nerdy I am. So anyway, you could use paper though, but if you wanna get something more accurate, you can get something like this. And that's it, thanks for watching.